Hi there, right, I've come back to show you how to make um, a calendar and your, your own handmade coat hanger. And what I did, I did actually film, this was the first one that I did. And, you you know, making a handmade coat hanger and making a calendar from it. You can see that. Uh, using the handmade butterfly that I used earlier as well. Um, but then I've, after I've done that, it didn't film. It didn't show up. So I tried it again, and it's just done exactly the same on me um, once more. And I did only have the two calendars. So all I'm going to do is to talk you through what I did. Now you need a piece of chipboard. This one actually measures because I've only made a small calendar holder. Um, this one measures 13 centimeters by 10 and a half. You need a piece of your favourite paper, which I just use the floral one. You lay the paper, the chipboard, in the middle of the paper and you leave about half an inch on all the sides. Then you cut the sides off, or the corners off, like I've shown you how to do before. And, and then you fold all the sides in to get your creases and fold in and, and, and use your nail to seal it, you know, to put the pleat in, not the pleat, the... Um, score and then glue it all glue that onto the piece of paper and then glue the sides on when you've done that you need to turn it over and i've used these little pegs that marissa's just given me remember in the parcel marissa's just given me so what you do is you glue the pegs onto the chipboard and by that you just put a line of glue front and back where you're going to put the peg slot the peg on quick while it and then let it dry and do the same with the opposite side and then what you're going to do is to make your coat hanger. Now I will show you how to make the coat hanger. You need this ga uh, quite thick gauge um, wire, which is craft wire. Now I'm only going to make a small one to show you. Okay, let me just pop that up there. So you need a strip of wire, depending on how long or how big you're going to do your coat hanger. So this will only be a small one now. Take the wire and measure it first. You know, you want that length so that you need the width of your chipboard, basically. When you've done that, I'm not going to do it that big because I've only cut a small piece of wire. But you need to bend the wire into a V like that. Okay. Turn it around and then you're going to bend it on the opposite side as well until you've got that, that shape. Now you need these as near as damn it in the middle, right? So find out where the middle is, with, with the two ends at the left, twist. And you can, I'm just gonna see if I can, cause I've lost my pliers somewhere, so it's very hard for me to do this. So you need to twist it round a couple of times and then snip off one the bit that you're twisting round. Then what you do is you take your little plier bits and with the bit that's left, with the end that's left, you can bend over like that. And if that's too sharp on the end, just snip that off. And there's your coat hanger. They are very easy to make. That's quite sturdy. I mean, that I'll use for something else, but for this size look at the difference and that's all you do you just need to make sure that you've got the width of the board and then I would say um, the same width again for each leg for each shoulder sorry and then twist the two together cut one end off but leave the other one and bend it over and that's it that's how you make your coat and that's perfect that then what you're going to do is you glue the coat hanger into the peg, into this bit that normally, you know, that clips together. You just drop some glue into there and the other side and sit the coat hanger in as soon as you can. When you've done that and it's dried, you need to start embellishing it. So I've just put a main flower here and some little flowers around. I have stuck a metal butterfly on and I've also put my handmade butterfly on that I've just made there. And that's how you get your little calendar. That's what it'll look like underneath. 
you could put another piece of paper on there you could put a, a card on with a message and that's what you get and it's so so simple and so easy to do see and they're pretty little gifts then and then you just use your calendar as and when you need to so I hope you enjoyed that I hope I explained it enough very simple and very easy to do thanks for watching bye